So if I decided to name this what I wanted to name this video, a lot of you are probably coming in with some heat for me right now. It would be warranted if you don't let me cook and explain to you what I actually mean. So I wanted to name this video, I hate white people. I don't know if I actually pulled the trigger on that. There's a part of the internet that's using YT to describe white people. And I'm just here to tell you that it drives me crazy. So I don't actually hate white people. I just hate the phrase YT people. And there's a few videos I wanna watch and some things I wanna get into because this shit is just really starting to bother me. First of all, that stands for YouTube. Do not take my terminology away from me. I do not like that it suddenly is being used for white people. It just, it drives me crazy because these double standards are getting us nowhere. As far as like us being able to make names for white people or just come up with these disrespectful terms, but then if they do it back on us, it's the worst thing in the world. And see, I told you the mentality behind it of like, well, we've been through it for so many years. And so it's time that they get it is just some of the goofiest shit ever. And then any of us black people that push against it because we feel like it's pushing us back years which it actually is and then we're looked at like oh they're just they're bowing down to the man they're this they're that no we just feel like if a white person came out and said this you're gonna label them and see, see this is what i was talking about so it takes other black people in the community to come forward and say this shit's stupid and that's exactly what some of us are doing because you're not helping the cause in any way like you you really aren't and i, I just there's videos that I came across of some different situations where white people are being looked at in, in the weirdest way ever. And I just, I'm just trying to understand where this is coming from because yes, there are racist people out there, but there's racist people of all colors. I've met people that are racist that are white. I've met people that are racist that are black, that are Asian, that are like, there, there, there's every, every single race has racist people. It doesn't mean that that entire race should be labeled that way. And it just blows my mind that if someone's like, well, you know, they're being nice to you, but they still look down on you, right? Like no matter what a white person does, there's some black people that think that it's automatically racism. They can literally never do anything bad towards a black person, but they'll still think, well, deep down they want to, they're just not because they don't want to be canceled or they don't want to be judged. And that's the wildest thing in the world. Like we're, it's to the point where we're just, we're making shit up. And I, I'm just like, why are we making shit up? Why are we creating narratives that literally don't exist in some situations? Like focus that on the people that are actually being racist. Don't just be like, well, this white woman, you know, she treated me nicely, but she's probably racist though. Like, like what, what, like, I don't know what people have been through that leads them down this path, but it's, it's actually mind blowing to me. Let's just dive into one of these few videos that I found and let's, let's just, let's, let's just listen to what this person has to say. I'm seeing a lot of queer white people posting shit like, like posting themselves being really happy and doing some random shit and being like, yeah, our joy is resistance. And like, in my opinion, white people's joy is not resistance. Like queer or not, your joy is not resistance. Matter of fact, your joy is what got us here in the first place. Like your joy is why we're having to resist. And like y'all putting yourselves and finding yourselves and like your own joy in front of everybody else is what got us here. Like literally I'm seeing so many white people right now going on like organizer retreats and posting about their joy and how awesome it was. Honestly, I wanna see more of y'all like sitting your ass at home and giving your money to black and brown people so they can do that shit. What in the world are we actually talking about? So she's saying that white people's joy, your happiness is what got us here in the first place. You're not allowed to be happy because you being happy is what caused all the problems in the world and it's what led to everything being the way that it is. I, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't even know what to say to that. So you should just sit at home and you should send me money and other black and brown people money. And you should allow us to go out and be happy and have fun. And I don't want to hear you say otherwise, because otherwise you're part of the problem. Like you, you are the reason for oppression, your joy and happiness. It's, it's the worst thing that's ever happened to this world. <laughs> like what, what are we actually talking about right now? And why, why do you need to send me and other black and brown people money? I don't understand. Like we can go get jobs and stuff like that. I've had plenty of good jobs. There's a lot of people that are black and brown that are in prominent positions. This just sounds like someone who's just, I, I, I don't know. Like maybe this is her way of being like, some people will send me money if I say this shit and I'll be able to not work. I, I really, I can't understand it, but this shit is wild to me. Like it's actually wild to me. And these videos get crazier as we go. Imagine that. This is one of the craziest things I've ever heard, but it gets worse. So I, I just, I don't know, man. What's also crazy to me is that there are some white people out there that probably responded to this video like, you're right, our joy is a part of the problem. Like, yo, some of y'all been brainwashed to believe that you really are the devil. It's just, 
Goodness gracious. Let's just let's let's dive into the next one. I believe that every black woman on this planet should be entitled to financial compensation just for existence on this earth in this society. And though I could go down my laundry list of reasons and likely convince you to and show you why I believe that, I'm not going to. You'll understand when you do. Toodles. Toodles. You Goofy, mm, I'm trying not to say the things that I wanna say. Now she's not directly hating on white people. In fact, she's throwing black men in that same pot because she ain't mention us. We don't get to get paid any money, but apparently black women should get paid just for existing in society. And she's not gonna give us any reasons because we'll figure it out. What? Yeah, what? Where, where does this mentality come from? Are you raised to believe that this is the way to think about things? Like what book did you read? What, like what experience did you have that made you think, you know what, this is the way to go. Like in my mind, I wanna believe that some of these people are doing this just to farm engagement, whether it's negative or positive, like they just wanna farm engagement. Now that it's 2024 and everybody wants to be a TikToker and you know, all these different, I, I can only assume that some of this has to be fake, right? There aren't actually people out there that feel like this makes sense, right? Like that, that, it can't, it can't be real. I think the only thing that's good about this is that it doesn't seem to be like the actual real world, right? On the internet, you see all this crazy shit, but you go out in the real world and people just interact like normal people and everything seems to be fine. And, and that's something that we definitely got to keep in mind when we see all this stuff online, because Twitter is like 7% of the entire world, not even 7% of just the US. So it's not that many people that feel this way, that say all these dumb things. It just seems that way because that's what you see online a lot. But when you go out, you, you don't experience half of the shit that you see online. Like everybody just tries to be friendly to each other. Obviously there are some horrible people out there, but they're not the majority, not even close. It's just one of those things. Like I saw a tweet the other day about Americans going into other countries and acting disrespectful. And this person was like adamant that that's all we do. We just go to other countries and we disrespect everything and we're gonna learn one day. And I said, listen, do you know in 2019, 44 million Americans traveled overseas. I know that you've seen about 20 to 30 videos online of people doing dumb shit, but think about how small of a percentage that is compared to all of the people that actually travel. Like it's the, the real world is very different than what you're perceiving online. And you've got to, you've got to keep that in mind. It's the only thing that keeps me sane when I see shit like this, but this last one, this last video, I feel like this is a special kind of stupid. On today's episode of, is it a microaggression or is a white lady just being nice? A coworker says to me, you're running this meeting very well. Mind you, the person who was supposed to run the meeting didn't come. So it could have just been a nice compliment. What do y'all think? This is what a crazy person does. You take a compliment that has absolutely nothing to do with race and you turn it into something about race because your mind is just so f at this point that that's all that you seem to think about because you've let yourself go down this path of just ridiculousness. Like, how is that a problem? You are running a meeting and someone said, hey, you're running this meeting very well. And immediately you're like, is that a microaggression? In what world is a compliment a microaggression? Like, I, I don't even understand the thought process behind that. Somebody is giving you a compliment. They didn't say, for a black woman, you're running this meeting very well. That would be different. They literally just gave you a compliment. Like, why, 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 are, why, are, why are people like this? Why are people like this? Okay, three things. Impact, intent, precision. Would she have felt compelled to say the same thing to a straight white male? We don't know because we can't guess her intent. Did I feel offended? No, I didn't, but that doesn't mean other people wouldn't be. So I think it's both. And that's why it's important to be explicit with your language. How is this how you broke down that situation? It just makes no sense. 2024 is so different. The world has changed so much that it just blows my mind. She's like, well, I didn't feel offended, but somebody else may have. So that's why I'm gonna make this video because it should have been about the meeting being good and not about me running it. But she wanted to compliment you. That's what she would have done if she wanted to compliment you. She would say that you ran the meeting well. She didn't label it with anything to do with race. So anybody that thinks that is the crazy person, right? Like imagine like when I worked at AT&T, someone didn't show up and I ran the meeting and someone was like, Dwayne, you're running this meeting well. The fact that my mind would even go to think, is this a microaggression? Is, is she saying that just because I'm black and a black person is finally doing something right? Like the fact that my mind even goes there, it, it would make me the problem. She doesn't understand that she's the problem. Like that thought process is the problem. You're, you're not allowing people to just be kind to each other anymore because it's too nuanced. It's too much of a broad statement apparently, and it could mean so many different things. But in reality, this is your own crazy mind just spinning and making up things that, that, that just aren't existing right now. It's, it's just like, like, how does your brain go to this when someone just complimented you? And whether or not she would have said it if a white male was running it, still has nothing to do with it. Let's just say that a white male ran it two weeks before that because somebody didn't show up and she didn't say to him, you're running this meeting well. 
Why would that suddenly mean that what she said to you has to do with race or is a microaggression? Maybe she just didn't think that the white male ran it well. Maybe it has, you know, it has nothing to do with him being white or him being male. Maybe he just didn't run it very well. So she didn't compliment him. Oh, like it makes me so upset and sad at the same time because I just feel like this is the reason why we're going to just shit. This whole country is going to shit. It's crazy. Like this, this it, it, and again, I, I need to keep in mind what I said the last time is this isn't everybody. This isn't everybody. It's just what you see online. So in reality, this is a very small niche percentage of people that are doing this, but it's still upsetting. It's it just like, it's that worry that it's going to spread and start to be more and more and more people. And then eventually everybody's just going to look at life this way. And we're, we're, it's, we're, we're going to literally set ourselves back so many years of progress, not just black people, not just women, but just like everybody is just going backwards. It seems like. And I, I don't know, I just, I don't really understand it. And I've had these bookmarked for a little while and I've wanted to make a video about it. Kind of avoided it because I, I, it just, it upsets me, right? So I'm like, I know the day that I do this, I'm gonna think that the world is 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 effed. Like I'm, I'm literally gonna lose faith in humanity the day that I make this video. So I had to be careful. I didn't wanna do that, but here we are. So I don't know, curious to see what you guys say down below. I don't know if I'm actually gonna title this, I hate white people, like I hate YT people. I'm, I, I feel like some people are gonna see that title and just unsubscribe from me immediately and not even dive in to see what I have to say. But at the same time, it's such a great, like, it's not really a clickbait title, but it is because I, I do hate that phrase. And that's really what I'm saying. But you don't know that until you click it and see what I say. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what I should name it, but we'll find out. That probably is going to be it and we'll see how it goes. But anyways, let me know what you think down below. Just wanted to talk about this really quick. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.